<laughs> Seconds after most babies in this country are born, they're given erythromycin, an antibiotic eye drop, protection in case mom has a sexually transmitted infection such as gonorrhea. That's very damaging and it leads to um, a, a lot of blindness uh, in children. No. Countries around the world adopted this practice in the 1800s. In Quebec, Ontario, Alberta, BC and PEI, it's still the law. In fact, when parents refuse the eye drops, some hospitals have a duty to alert public health. Problem is, the drops don't work that well anymore. We know that erythromycin is not very effective in, in prophylaxis against other bacterial infections which are more common. We said, wait a minute. Now the Canadian Pediatric Society is saying provinces should stop making the drops mandatory. If they're not working and they cause irritation to the baby, why would we do this? This is not good for the baby. So is the baby moving? Midwives couldn't agree more. They've lobbied against the law for years, saying it's outdated. Britain stopped making the drops mandatory 60 years ago. We need to get those laws changed um, so that we're not in a position where we have this strange requirement to be providing some kind of ineffective treatment. While the drops aren't harmful, they do make baby's vision even blurrier moments after birth. Ideally, it would be great if the baby did not have the drops. Experts say it's more important that mothers-to-be are screened for sexually transmitted infections and treated properly if they have one. That way, their baby's eyes aren't at risk for infection. So far, only health officials in Ontario and B.C. say they're looking at the recommendations. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.